Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, <clears throat> with everything going on at the current moment, I figured I might as well just keep you guys posted. I was a bit vague on what was going on that's going to be happening in real time for me a couple days, but for you guys, it's actually, it might be going on right now. Ugh, my hair is being a butt. Either that, or we just, uh, Pink Fox and I just got back from finishing up with this. Um, certain circumstances arose, and Pink Fox and Aaron had the idea of the three of us hanging out for about uh, a week's time, more or less. Uh, it gives Pink, it saves, first of all, it saves Pink Fox gas. Secondly, um, to be quite frank, hang, when, when we hang out with Aaron, it saves us a lot of stress. Or it, it's not, it doesn't save us a lot of stress. That's poor wording. Um, it does, however, allow us to keep a cool mind and any frustrations we have, we can throw at whatever activity we do, which usually, it's all good and fun, but it is like, if we have any frustrations going on, we can exert it into that, making it more joking and lighthearted at the same time. Um, but this leads into what I actually wanted to talk about in this video. I know that was probably a weird introduction, so I need to, I need to better myself with that. But what I want to talk about in this video is the impact that peers in general actually have. I just think Pink Fox and I and Aaron are like the three, three of very, very good examples of where this kind of idea comes from. When you take, it, for many people nowadays, I've seen much proof of this. This isn't everyone, so if it's not you, don't worry. I'm admitting that it's not every individual. But a lot of people nowadays... Um, when there's something going on and something stressing someone out, there will be there's usually one thing that's suggested that doesn't work on many people anymore, um, and that's seeing a therapist. Most of the time nowadays, it's actually peers. It's like peers are the therapists themselves without intentionally being so. And the reason for this is actually because they can relate, and it's m much easier to tell they can because they're actual friends and they're more well known. Now the reason this isn't the case for everyone is because there are some therapists out there who actually know how to be a friend at the same time. The people who get therapists like that are very lucky people. Because those individuals, those therapists who do do this, actually know how to do their job. Because the point of therapy is to be able to relate to someone that way when somebody says something, it can actually be confronted. A good example of a therapist who's like this, I visited once, but it was only once because it was only needed to be once. Um, back in 2020, I believe, the beginning of 2020, something like that. No, beginning of 2021. Um... A lot of psychological related issues were happening with me at the time to the point where I actually had to stay with my parents. It's been discussed on this channel before. The reason I'm being vague is I just don't like talking about the topic too much. But one part I'm actually willing to talk about are the event is one of the events that kind of went on while I was at the hospital during this circumstance and a therapist came in and spoke with me. This person actually treated me like a friend. They didn't, they, and not in a way where it's like trickery or anything. Just based off the fact that the person was going, they first of all, they weren't in the mindset of, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, okay, yeah, like monotone like that. When people do that, that's when you can tell they're not being true to it. This person... The reason, the main reason why I could tell that they were trying to actually be a friend and not just do their job 
is the fact that they related and they gave examples of their own. That's what a friend would normally do. And to me, I feel like that's why a lot of people nowadays think that friends or peers are way better than therapists themselves, and or at least how their mind works kind of things, because for the most part, from what I've seen and heard, a mixture of both, therapists don't really do that. There are some, luckily, who do. I was lucky enough that day from ways back now, I was lucky enough to get a therapist who actually did exactly that. But I was also lucky enough to have peers like Aaron and Danny or D9 to reach out to at the time. Not to mention my family. Mainly my mom and dad. I think my sister and brother were busy at the time, but I did reach out to my parents as well. And I definitely needed it. But this is like personal example. I'm not going to give any examples for anyone else, mainly because I don't, I can't think of any off the top of my head. Um, but I just feel like the examples I give kind of provide personal experience on why I feel like peers in their own in their own right are therapists are unregistered, unlicensed therapists. Now, this is just kind of my opinion on the fa- the matter. I don't know. What do you guys think? Which, and f- here's another question, more directly. Would you, viewers, wa- uh, would you prefer to watch, uh, or not watch, would you prefer to um, cons- consort with, an actual licensed therapist or a peer, which helps you more. Uh, Let us know in the comments below. Uh, If you liked what was said on this video, though, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see me anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. I know. The camera altered when I did that. There we go. Um, If you really like this kind of stuff, though, Consider subscribing to the channel where, or click links on the side of my head. One leading to a discussion and rant playlist, which, oh heck, that's a lot of um, videos on that. I'm not even going to say that number if it's on there. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. I'm going off the idea that it is because I'm pretty sure I see it. Anyway, if this isn't quite your cup of tea, click link on the other side and you might find something that suits you a bit more. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this video, guys, and we hope to see all of you in another one. Bye for now.